Chapter 264 Even though it looked like a simple slap, when the slap hit him, all the reiki that Alex had been accumulating rushed and penetrated into his head. Rushing along his body along the meridian as it burst all the important veins in his body. Since his important veins had already burst, he also lost all of his skills. The man dressed in white was horrified as he yelled out in pain. How could anyone have such strong spiritual energy in reiki? He really could not fathom who Alex was. How is it possible for anyone in Oris Hill to have such incredible skills? Moreover, he felt as though Alex's skills were incomparable. Where did this guy come from? He had come here with his brother to kill, why did it seem like they were the ones getting killed instead? At this time, Alex punched the man in his abdomen and with just one punch, the man in white felt as though he had become a completely useless person. He could not even move his hands and feet at this time and it felt as though he was one step away from death. Alex pulled the man up as he stared at him with a condescending and cold expression on his face. After that, he asked in a cold manner, who sent you here to kill Mia? The man dressed in white felt completely defeated at this time. For a warrior like him, he felt that living was worse than death. He could feel his spirit and energy completely destroyed and he said in a desperate manner, just kill me. Let me die with dignity. Alex replied in a cold manner, Dignity? You don't deserve anything at all. If you refuse to tell me the identity of the mastermind who instigated you to kill Mia, I'll break all the meridians in your body and make sure you cannot even blink your eyes for the rest of your life. After that, I'll hand you over to the police since you're a wanted criminal and I'll probably be able to trade you for a lot of money. I'll let you rot in prison until the day you die. The man dressed in white was horrified at this time. Please, please let me off. I'll tell you who the perpetrator of the crime is if you just give me a way out. Alex replied, Okay, tell me who it is and I'll give you a way out of this misery. The man dressed in white hesitated for a moment before he blurted out, The person who paid us to do this is Mia's cousin, he told us to make sure that Mia doesn't make it out of Oris Hill alive. Alex nodded before he replied faintly, if that's the case, then you can go to hell now. After that, Alex punched the man and killed him directly. Mia was shocked after hearing what the man had just said. Her cousin wanted her dead? What exactly happened at home? Why did he want her dead in Oris Hill? Why was he so cruel towards her? At this time, Sherlin slowly crawled out from under the car and he noticed the white stone that Mia had dropped on the ground. He picked it up and he was about to hand it back to her when he realized what he was holding in his hand. Miss, isn't this the Connus and Money Pebble? Why do you have it? Mia was shocked and she asked Sherlin in surprise, you know what it is? Sherlin scratched his head before she smiled and said, of course. I sold this pebble to Mr. Anderson. After that, he didn't know where he lost it. He even came to me to ask me if I had another similar pebble like this. Unfortunately, this is the only calmness and money pebble in the world. That's why I could not find a similar one for Mr. Anderson. Mia could not believe her ears and she felt as though someone was ripping her chest apart at this time as Sherlin's words continued echoing in her ears. Mia murmured, are you sure that this is the only calmness and wealth pebble in the world? Yes, the one and only, Sherlin replied affirmatively. There would never be two exact same leaves in this world, nor would there ever be two of the exact same pebbles in this world. I recognize the shape of this stone. This is definitely the calmness and wealth pebble. After that, Sherlin sighed as he said. It's really a pity I've not been able to find a similar pebble for Mr. Anderson ever since he lost this. Mr. Anderson? He kept it from me for such a long time. The savior that she had been longing for, the dream lover that she had secretly been in love with, turned out to be him. She was actually in love with her best friend's husband, Alex. Mia felt so desperate at this time and she felt as though she was going to burst into tears. She wanted to scream and she wanted to ask what could possibly be more ironic than this in this world, 